Now we pause, and Sarah will sing the anthem. I started doing it in New London back when Chris Dunn was a freshman, and I guess my dad thought that I was pretty good at it, so we came to an ECC game at Waterford, and he asked them if they would let me do the national anthem. And they were kind of scared at first. They were like, oh, she's little, like she probably can't sing, but they let me do it. And they ended up thinking that I was pretty good. So I did that, and then they just asked me to do all the home games this year. All the home games since my sophomore year, pretty much, I've done. I mean, I do this for fun. I don't, I've been doing it for so long, so I don't really get nervous anymore. It's, it's kind of like a side thing. Um, if maybe I lived somewhere else, I would probably be like all into it. But as far as what I do with it, it's just a national anthem, so it's never really anything that big. Ever since I was younger, I've wanted to play college softball, and so now I get to do that. It's so much hard work and so many extra hours and just batting practice and fielding and 90 degree weather outside, running on the track in the middle of July. Like, it's so relieving to know that all my hard work paid off and all that was recognized. I love the spotlight. Singing, I mean, I love I loved doing that in sports, I loved being, you know, I love being out there and I love performing. It, I mean, it's pretty much a performance. And so there was that and then just watching sports my whole life and doing the National Anthem at games. Like, I just, I became into sports. Like, that's just, my life revolves around it pretty much. So I think that really was just the main connection for me. Of the brave. 